how to use buddy based for beginners in today's video i'll walk you through a complete beginner friendly tutorial on how to use buddy base from sign up to building your first app all without writing a single line of code so let's get started if you don't know what is a buddy base so basically buddy base is an open source low code no code platform that helps you to build business app in the incredibly fast it is perfect for building tools like internal dashboard admin banner client portals and more either hosted on their cloud or deployed on your own infrastructure it connects through database like mysql google sheet and rest apis and even comes with its own built-in data source called BuddyBase DB. Now let's get started. First thing first, what we have to do is just simply click on the sign up for free over here in the top right corner and then click on it and it will ask you to sign up with the Google or sign up with the Microsoft or you can sign up with the email as well. Right now I have an account already. So I will go with the, I have, I already have an account. So just simply click on it and as you can see here i have an account now i have successfully logged in into my buddy base this is the overview of your buddy base over this is the dashboard let's explore each by each now in the left bar you will get to see three options which is all apps and this is the app which you have created my first app all charts and so on and so forth and if you go into apps, this is where you will find all you created app. It shows a list of app under the all apps section. Now you can also view them by specific group like my apps and you can use search to find particular app as well. Now let's go to chart. This feature is where you can manage communication and collaboration with your team members, any chats or messages related to your app or project can be accessed from here. This is for your team. Now, and this is a user in the top top corner, you will get to see there is an option of the user. From here, you can add any member you want. You can add a user, you can import a user as well. You can add roles. Let's say if you want to assign a manage your user access with your group, you can add the whole group over here before that you have to add a user so you can make a group for that now let's move to plugin if you have a plugin or integration installed you can manage them from here let's say if you want to add plugin you have to add the url of the of the github link and then get up tokens then click on the save if you want to directly get from git repo then you can get it now let's move to the settings from in the setting, uh, you can adjust your account and workspace settings such as notifications, auth, branding, emails, environment elements, and organization. So yeah, uh, basically you can, uh, if you go into AI, from here you can connect an LLM and to enable AI features. You can only, uh, you can only enable one LLM at a time. So make sure you choose the right one. This is a auth authentication se uh, section. Here you can give authentication for Google, a client ID and callback URL for this app. Now go to branding. From here you can upload your logo. You can change the title. You can change the login page, header button. So this is all related to branding. You can, uh, you can remove all buddy-based branding and use your own branding from here. Let's move to move on. From here you can add your SMTP details to send automated emails from buddy base uh, as you can see here you have to host security type post let's move to environment from here you can add and manage environment variable for development and production uh, just simply click on the add variable to add a new variable and uh, there is an option of organization in the organization you can edit manage all your organization settings over here now let's move to account this section is typically hold user specific settings like profile, billing and upgrade things and, and the audit logos. So yeah, from here you can manage that too. Let's move back. So I have uh, created a testing app over here as you can see here. Let's say if you want to create a new app and if you want to view templates, 
first thing we will create a new app on the top right there is a create new app uh, in the top left you will get to see there is a op uh, option of create new app just simply click on it and then you will get options and templates like here you can choose template if you want and if you want to customize these templates you can customize uh, from your dashboard but let's create from scratch we will uh, we will create inventory manager just simply click on the start from scratch i will Again, I will give you an overview how you can customize of using your template as well. Just simply click on the My App and give the name of Inventory Inventory Manage Management. Just simply click on the Create App. My spelling is wrong. Just uh, now, just simply experience all of what DV3. Just simply click on the Get Started. And then it will take you to the editor of the body page. As you can see, let's understand this first and we will do uh we will create an app. So so this is a design section over here. Now in this left side, you can add screen, navigation, inventory table. You can access all of these from a component section. If you are a bindings from here, you can see that as well. This, these are two new features. And then let's say this is a screen. Let's say if you want to add uh, one more screen, you can add that by just clicking on this plus icon. This is blank table. So whatever you kind, whatever kind of uh, screen you want, you can add from here. Now in the top, you will get four options like data. So basically from here, you can do all uh, related to data system you can manage you can create you can add uh, anything related to your database like this is an employee expense inventory if you want to manage roles you can manage from here if you want to use app users you can do that as well from here let's move to automation this is automation section where you can automate things over here now if you go to in the settings i will not go into automation so yeah uh, let's move to the settings from here you can uh, see automations and then you can uh, manage your setting of backups uh, embed uh, versions authentications of your google you can from manage from here as well let's move back to our canvas so this is in the center we have our canvas where we can add uh, add a row where we can uh, so this is where your uh, you can add elements in the canvas in the right corner you can manage the settings of that element like theme you can give a dark theme as well if you want to choose a general setting you can do that as well app user then on screen load large Let's say if you want to add something over here, just simply click on this plus icon. From here, you can add blocks, you can add layouts, you can add data, a lot of things. You can basic, you can add basic things like text, buttons, and button group as well to make your app more intuitive. Now, let's, uh, for example, we have created a simple inventory management app. Uh, let's move back to create one more. There is an issue with it. Now, by default, I think we have created uh, chosen the wrong template. Like we have, we wanted to create from scratch, but okay, this is a template you can use it. Let's say if you want to add a uh, text over here, what you can do is just simply click on this plus icon. From here, you can choose a text and import it over here. So this is a basic text you can add. You can change if if I say. Let's say if you want to add a text over here, you can add that too. So, so, so yeah, like, let's say I want to uh, create a row over here. What I will do is just simply click on this button and go back into data, into inventory, go to inventory section. From here, you can add and create new things into database. Like, let's say, click on the create view. So I want to create a table. Uh, create a subset of your data so name your table let's say i will create this one so we have successfully created a sub table of that data now if i want to add a name over here we'll add 
then if i want to choose the item tags the material and the office then let's say if i want to add notes i can add over here let's add give a status then we will go for sqv i don't know what is this then uh, move to date purchase price is this much and basically click on the save after filling out all the information which is necessary let's get back to design now after designing all of those things what you can do is just simply let's connect your data into your this page it is already has connected a data so i don't need to go and connect my google sheet so basically what is it you can connect with body based dbs it is simple built in the ideal for quick setup uh, like they have external sources like postgres sql my sql and google sheet as well now if you want to connect your uh, google sheet with this app you what you can do go to data tab and then in the data tab what you can do is choose google sheet from uh let's say right now we have created but so let's say now over here you have to after the sign up you will have to add sp a spreadsheet url over here so what i will do i will just simply go to google sheet which i have already created one google sheet and now click on the sign in of the google sheet then copy that a uh, specific that spreadsheet first give it the name and then click on the share and click on this restricted area where you can choose anyone with the link copy the link and then paste it over here and simply connect it so we have successfully uh, added our google sheet into our uh, table as you can see here this uh, google sheet has been connected with the table now if you want to create a new table into that google sheet you can create it so this is how you can add uh, your google sheet database into the build bus now we have uh, successfully created a uh, app but i have used template so just simply preview this option click on the preview it will give you the pre simple preview of that specific application which we have created now wait for a few seconds so this is our basic inventory management ad so we have item name item tax purchases purchase price note status so all of those things just simply click on the create raw then give a item name then item tag then notes then status then you have to upload the code then purchase date and the price purchase price then it will add one more row after this which we have uh, added that now just simply click on the close if you satisfied with this uh, result in the top right corner you will get to see there is an option of a publish button just simply click on the publish and it will publish your app so this is how you can create a basic app into buddy base if you go into uh, templates you will get to lot get lot of uh, you will get to see lot of templates over here uh, let's say i if you want to use this invoice approval software just simply click on the use and click on the create app it will take you to the editor of the buddy base where you can customize this whole template in a very simple manner so as you can see here we are in the editor of the build base as i said you can access all the customizable element or addable element in the right side after clicking on this plus icon then this is a screen you can navigate uh, these are manage invoices table uh, now this is a history if you, if you want to customize this option you can customize it by just clicking on this option now let's say if you want to change the position of this specific section you can change it by that too now let's say if you want to change invoice number to different name just go into data then go into history of that thing now from here you can change the date status new status or if you want to change by anything 
you can do that as well. Now, invoices going to invoices. Let's say I want to change the invoice number to different thing. And from here, I can change this name to another name, maker invoice. Just click on the save and get back to your design. So, a okay. So it's uh, like we have successfully saved our column. Now, let's get back to our app. Now, after doing all of this customization settings, you can just preview it and publish it. So this is how you can create a, a basic app into build base. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, then subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.